In this screencast, we're going to use Shrinkomatic locally on our computer to shrink oversized pictures to make them more usable on the web and also make them load faster for users' computers when they see them. If you do not have Shrinkomatic downloaded and installed, please pause this video. It's free for Shrinkomatic. Pause the video and come right back to this and we'll get going with it. Okay, now that you're all set, you have Shrinkomatic on your computer. We're going to select some no brainer options to make this really simple and easy. Up here on the left, you'll see output size and size limits, meaning in pixels, because it's 72 pixels per square inch. And we want the max width, meaning up the top here, left to right, to be 600. You can also select the maximum height that it will allow the picture to be resized to. That's top to bottom at 200, if you like. and Or if you just want to scale it, you can do 600, at saying that I want at least 600 or less maximum 600 or less, excuse me, and make it no more than whatever the dimensions are related to the 600 starting off with your original. You'll see as you play around with this. Or you can select ratio. In other words, you already know what your all your pictures are, are one size and you want to ratio it down to another. But again, we're going to use the no-brainer. So I'm just selecting the max width at 600. In the middle, I'm going to the output name and auto rename. Uh, that's a good idea to start with until you get used to this program. You can do it same as original, but you'll see this warning that comes up. It says if you're going to this, back to the same folder, you're putting the resized pictures back in the same folder, and they're the same as the original, you will more than likely, as a matter of fact, I'll guarantee you, you will overwrite your original pictures, and you'll lose the big size. So I'm going to suggest you don't. Do auto rename to be safe, and also to specify an output folder. In other words, we're going to go from one folder to another. We're going to start off with the original, drop them in here, because I don't know the drop picks. That's going to put them in a new one. Now, you can specify it in browse. I've already created one on my desktop, and there it is, resize pictures, and that's where they're going to go. You can organize your folders any way you want, one inside of the other, what have you, just to be safe. I would recommend in two different spots, but again, it's up to you. Or you can make a new folder if you have Windows 7. You can do that and do it right from here. All right, so we're already set. Now, if we go up to the right, we're going to the output format. If you're already in JPEG, you can do same as original if you like to, as far as going from one format to another or if you're in GIF you can go from GIF to GIF or ping to ping or if you're not sure just select and again it's a no-brainer thing to select JPEG in other words no matter what you're coming from other than a digital negative of some sort it's going to change it to a JPEG you can adjust the quality of the output or the shrunken picture if you want I'm gonna leave it at 100 percent let's get going let's try this out all right here's our pictures that we want to Go ahead and shrink, and we want them to go into that folder. I'm going to go ahead and take one picture, left click, and drag it in there, and drop it in, let go, and it's going to tell me, oh, it's done. Cool. Let's go see if it did that. There's my resize folder, resize pictures, and there it is. Now, to see the difference, what we're going to do is hover over here, and you'll see the sizes. It's rather a large size of dimensions of 950 by 713 at the size of file size of 1.09 megs and let's see what it shrunk it down to cool 600 by 450 and the file size is only 610 kilobytes which is much more manageable on the web so just for fun we're going to go ahead and delete that and i'm going to show you this other neat little trick bring up our shrinkomatic you see nothing's in our resized pictures here's our originals now i can left click on one not opening it press my control or command key if you're on the mac Press the other one to select them, or you can do Control A and select them all. I'm going to left click and drag both of them. You see that it has two in there. Drop it in and look in the upper right as it processes these pictures automatically. Cool. And there you are. And if you want to make sure it even has the rename, it tells you 600. That's the width, which is cool. And right click if you're on Windows 7. Left click on Preview. That looks fantastic. Go over and check our other picture. Looks just peachy for the web. We're doing fantastic. That's all there is to Shrinkomatic. Have fun.